All right. How you doing, guys? We got a lot of talk about today. Here's my electric unicycle. It's a Bagode EXN high speed. Does over 50 miles per hour. I'm not wearing all my gear, so I'm gonna try to take it easy today. Um, but I got a lot of talk about. I messed up. I have my camera here. Had some deep scratches on it, and I read that you could fix it by buffing it out. So I got my Dremel, my buffing compound <clears throat> and I tried to do it and I did you know I buffed out one side perfect and then I went to do the other side really deep gouge kind of so I couldn't get it out oh, let me put my app on and I couldn't really get it out but I got you know a little bit better I guess and the problem was I didn't know if I would have read more or found out the right I've done more research because I was a big dummy. Um, it takes off the uh, the coating, the anti-glare coating. So you're probably gonna see some bad glaring, but at nighttime it's horrendous. Man, I forgot my mirror. Shoot, I keep forgetting my mirror. So it's really bad, the, the glare. So I can't shoot at night. I shot it last night and the, it's unusable. It's horrible. I, I really fucked up. Excuse my language, I'm sorry. I really messed up. And um, uh, so, you know, I had already ordered. It's, it's such a weird coincidence. I had already ordered my new one, a new camera. How you doing? I already ordered my new camera. See, and now I can't see behind me. That's right, I'm gonna go straight. Uh, 40 miles an hour. So I already ordered my new camera, which is kind of a coincidence. But I, uh, I messed it up, so now I can only record during the daytime. Hopefully it's good, vi enough video that, you know, I'm gonna try to get it replaced. It's a pain in the ass to replace the lenses. So what I'm gonna do is either get a new, box, you know, camera, these are modules on these, this is an Insta360R, great, great camera. Now I do have another module, a uh, 4K wide angle, which I could put that on this camera if this is not a good video here. I can use that at night, get really good videos. And I have this other 360 um, go-to on my chest right now, the white one I'm always wearing. That takes really great uh, 4K video. I think it's 4K. I know it's definitely HD. And, um, you know, I'm gonna use those for uploading you guys some really great content. But, man, I can't believe, I, I would've just dealt with the scratches. It wasn't that bad, you know? It would've been okay to deal with the scratches. Oh, man, let's see, I gotta get past these guys. Maybe I can just go in the street. Let me look, see how bad the traffic is. Oh, I got it. You gotta make, you gotta be quick on one of these things. You gotta make quick decisions. You gotta know how to handle it. You gotta be safe. There's a lot going on, you know, but, uh, ooh, I got a little wiggle there. A little wiggle waggle. A little wiggle waggle. You gotta be in control. Now, riding in the wind when we had that hurricane bands coming through, that actually helped me a lot because I was able to, you know, really control my vehicle better, my Bagode EXN high speed EUC. It's an EUC, which is electric unicycle. It's such a great, great machine. You just have to know what you're doing and it takes practice and the more you do it, the better you're gonna get. You just gotta keep at it, you know? And now in the beginning, you're gonna be scared to death every time you get on it. It took, it takes like three days to, uh, to learn how to ride it. I'd say three days, three to seven days, they say, three to 10 days, I did it in three. I think I, I could teach anybody in three days. But then it takes a while to get comfortable, but it's so exciting, it's so wonderful and so great. You're gonna love it. Okay, I'm gonna go for now and we'll get back to you in a little while. Peace out. Harry here, thank you.